Back in 2011, when Siri was first introduced to the public, hardly anyone would have predicted the steep rise of voice-enabled tech that was to come. Today, voice-enabled tech is an integral part of our everyday life. The average smartphone now features voice assistants, and it has been predicted that by the end of this year, more than half of all consumer searches online will be voice-based. Voice recognition software can be tricky, though. Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Speedy talking, noise, dialects, similar sounding words, and many other aspects can interfere with speech recognition technology, resulting in misunderstandings and wrongly executed voice commands. However, as voice control is continuing to rise in popularity and is becoming a must-have in modern cars, there's got to be a better way. One of the biggest threats to voice recognition is noise. People talking in the background, construction, music playing, kids screaming, and wind can all prevent the voice system from working properly. German automaker Porsche has been equipping its exclusive cars with in-car voice control for years. While operating a system that is on par with the industry standards, the Zufenhauseners were looking to take in-car voice control to a new level, as Marios Schach electrical engineer in Porsche's pre-development unit explains. For now, we wanted to validate if a system um, which uses both video and audio as an input can actually um, be better than our um, existing systems um, that we have as a industry standard. Their idea was to create a system that doesn't require any noise reducing actions, but one that works reliably despite the noise. So you simply can trust the voice control that it works. In trying to develop such a system, they found a strong partner in the Tel Aviv-based startup Hi Auto. Together with his co-founders Eyal and Zohar, CEO Roy Baharav developed an automotive-grade speech recognition system. Hi Auto specializes in making speech recognition platforms work well in the most noisy environments by using both a camera and a microphone in order to eliminate the most challenging noises, such as interfering speakers. Today's speech recognition technologies often require ideal sound environments in order to function properly. Drive to 110 Fifth Avenue. But today you have to turn off the music when you actually give a command, the music stops. And when you're driving a convertible, typically the roof has to be closed so that you can uh, use the speech recognition platform. And then sometimes you have to ask people to be quiet so that you can control the car. Navigate to the nearest yeah, gas station. Yeah, I'm on my way, so I'll be there in 20 minutes. Yeah, Increase the so temperature I'll by stop. two degrees. So then, yeah, it will take me half an hour. Navigate to the nearest gas station. Increase the temperature by two degrees. Now the car can understand what each of them said without being affected by the noise and also understand the context of who said what. By integrating High Auto's technology into Porsche's speech recognition system, Porsche offers drivers the ability to speak to the car even if music is on, the window is down, or people are talking so that it... It doesn't matter if your kids on the back seats um, talk while you're doing a voice control. Um, it doesn't matter if there's music in the background. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in a convertible driving pretty fast on the autobahn. This reduces the distractions for the driver and makes the drive much safer. According to Hadar Pod, director at Porsche Digital Tel Aviv, who supported the project on the ground in Israel, the collaboration with High Auto has been a very pleasant one. We are very happy to, to work with and to collaborate with High Auto and we see high potential of uh, continuing this journey together. High Auto's technology not only increases the safety of driving, but also opens up new opportunities for voice control in the automotive sector. The future is that people would be able to do much more things in the car. You know, they're spending time in the car, they would like to do things, and in order to do uh, actions that are complex, uh, the speech recognition platform has to be very reliable. 